Hi everybody, happy Vlogmas. Thanks for watching. We will continue our five minutes per day and I'm pretty sure we are getting into a fight soon. So let's check it out. Wenn wir das machen wollen, brauchen wir mehr Männer. I think everything is familiar, except maybe Männer. We had before Mann, der Mann, the man, die Männer. This is plural, the men or guys. Machen, wollen. So here we have again, we want to make something. We want to do something. So if we want to do that, the first part of the condition, brauchen wir mehr Männer. We need more men. Ich rede mal mit Kajikawa aus der dritten Klasse. Reden mit, to talk with somebody. Mal means in English. This is hard to translate. I have a talk. I talk a second. It's just some kind of talking. It's funny. I know how to say it in Chinese, but I don't know how to say it in English. Um, I would say like I will talk a second or I have a talk. The reason to use it is to sound uncasual. Yeah. I have like a quick talk with someone. And with who? Kajikawa aus der dritten Klasse from the dritte third class. Die Klasse, the class. And here at the end, we have a verb. This is a little bit more advanced because as an explanation, entspricht. Entsprechen means to be equivalent to something. So entspricht unserer neunten Klasse equivalent to our ninth grade, which is still pretty young. I think it's like 16, 17 in Germany. And the next one. Ich weiß nicht, was sich dieser Bastard denkt, aber wir werden es ihm heimzahlen. The only noun here, the bastard, der Bastard, male. And the verbs, weiß, comes from wissen, to know something, denkt, denken, to think, and werden, if it wouldn't be in this context, it would be to become, but don't forget, in this case, it is like the English future. We will do something. So it doesn't say we will become something, but it is a constellation for future. So we need a second verb, heimzahlen. Heimzahlen means to revenge. It actually can also mean to pay back, to pay him back for something. So I don't know what this bastard thinks, but we will pay him back or pay it back to him because we have the it here as. So maybe you're thinking, okay, it makes sense. It's not so hard, but what does this mean? Sich? What's the reason behind that? Some verbs in the German language, they need an addition. I always tell my students, if you learn a new verb, go to an online dictionary, tip in the verb, and then if it's a good dictionary, it has always an additional information. If a verb is for dative, accusative, anything, and if it needs a sich. If you want to look it up by yourself, I can give you the official name. Reflexive Verben. This is how it's called. So if you think about reflexive, you can remember it with reflection. You need another person, the person that is doing something, to reflect the activity back to him or herself. So if you have sich etwas denken, it means to think about something with yourself or by yourself. Or another example, sich waschen, to wash yourself. Okay, so it makes kind of sense to have like this reflection of what are you doing and bringing it back to yourself. So if you have another verb like essen, etwas essen, to eat something, of course, it won't need 
any reflection. So you don't eat yourself, right? In the best case. So you can eat pizza, sushi, anything. Er isst sushi, okay? He eats sushi. So no reflection here. So some verbs need it, many verbs actually. So I don't know what this B is thinking, but we will pay him back. Next page. Endo Kiku, was sollen wir nur mit ihm machen? So was, question word, and the verbs here, sollen, machen. And again, we have here mit. Mit ihm, with him. So what should we do with him? The little word nur, I let it out on purpose because it is an additional thing that it's not necessary. But if you want to say it, it can mean only or just. So what can we just do with him or about him in English? 